1982 Plymouth Arrow pickup truck. Subwoofer back there. You can barely see it though, but it's sitting back there. filter sitting right there directly in front of the fan to bring that the uh, motor temperature down five degrees having that oil filter directly in front of the fans This truck was built in 2010. It's got two gas tanks. Dana 44 rear end. Straight up drag drag truck. Just trying to keep it on the street. Working out all the bugs. Removed a lot of stuff. Go back to the front. shot going inside on this side indicator lights show you Indicator lights for everything.
trans break. I have a trans break, and also, uh, oh geez, I forgot what they call it. Uh, a front uh, brake lock also for the front wheels. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. I did a lot of wiring. A lot of switches. I have a video with, where I'm actually revving it to 8,000 RPMs. It's a 1982 Plymouth Earl pickup truck. TH350 transmission, Dana 44 rear end, and also I changed the rear end to 307 to get the RPMs down. Crazy thing is, it still pulls like a bed out of hell. And we're still burning the tires. For, uh, first, second, I can get rub in third, third gear. And I have dual fuel pumps, two gas tanks, race fuel up top. I got 93 in the other one. Kind of overfilled it right there. Got to take care of that. Uh, and that's my, my, my second fuel pump right there. And, and this one right here is my first one. Uh, nice and light. Yeah, got to put everything back together. See, I got the bumpers in there. Um, I have a radiator leak, so I had to pull everything apart. I got my original bumper right there. See if I can get a shot of it. Wait. And you see the radiator on the ground. That's actually a, a, a frame support bracket. It supports the the upper part here from flexing and then and it actually goes through and bolts to right down right down in here see my finger on both sides you can see it to get the radiator out I have to cut it but I'm gonna use bond welding Put it back to put it back together when a new radiator comes in. It's a great little truck. Um, got rid of some of my other drag cars, but I kept this because I just really like it. It's nice and light. It's fun to drive. Handles real well. Try to get you a better shot of it. Uh, it's, a, it's a solid roller motor and it revs like a bat out of hell. <laughs> oh, that's a vent tube for my transmission right there. It's fully gauged, got uh, gauges for everything. Got a gauge even for the differential temperature as well. Nineteen eighty-two Plymouth Arrow pickup truck. And I can get up to a fourteen inch footprint footprint tire up under it. Right now on the on the ground that one sets twelve. And actually, it doesn't too, do too bad on gas with the uh, differential gearing I have, that 307 I had in there. Originally, I had a uh, 456, uh, 410, and then I stuck with a 30, uh, 373. Then I removed that to drop the RPMs down so I can make it more streetable. And I replaced it with a 307. Great little truck. And I'm going to do... Uh, Cap. 
um, cover for, for inside of here and put a wing on the back. And that's my other gas tank. I have 30, 30 gallons of gas. <laughs> so this, I should be able to hold, <laughs> go at least, I'm gonna say at least 200 miles out of both tanks. And I'm winging it to run regular fuel also. Another shot of the inside. get that uh can I see my subwoofer yeah my subwoofer sitting there yeah, you can see it a little bit sitting right there and that's actually my stereo right there those three knobs no radio that's all I need and an mp3 player and that right there is actually 50 watts per channel it's more than enough to be in this little cab all right thanks for looking Plymouth Earl pickup truck 1982 thank you Get a, get a picture of my speakers too.